Hi guys, it's Timothy Jagger. And Anthony Molinaro from O'Brien Real Estate with the ninth edition of the monthly property news for 2022. Where as always, Tim, the real estate information is on the house. Now today we are joining you from 28 Ray Street in North Fitzroy, which is quite a nice change of pace for us. We're usually in Blackburn. Um, but it's beautiful and it's going to auction on the 10th of September. Now the meaning of equilibrium is when the desire of sellers and buyers meet on a price. The price of real estate is generally determined by three factors. First one being the availability of property listings, the second being the cycle of interest rates, and the third being the employment rate. Now our marketplace has transitioned from a 20% oversupply to now being more in line with normal supply. However, the pendulum is swinging and interest rates are driving the fluctuations in both demand and supply, so movement in the prices are evidently seen. Employment, well that's at a 30 year high, which is helping buyers to remain quite active. The most active buyer segments we are seeing right now are similar to people like yourself, Tim, first home buyers, and investors who are looking for an opportunity to buy at a more equilibrium price, and especially for investors, they are also taking advantage of more attractive yields. Upsizes, well, they're also trending to be more active right now, as slight downward shift in the market favors those looking to sell to upgrade to a larger home. Now, CoreLogic released its August Home Value Index on Thursday the 1st of September. And the downward pressure on prices eased in Melbourne in comparison to the last month, recording a 1.2% fall for the month for combined units and houses, whereas in July, Melbourne fell 1.5%. Prices in Melbourne have now officially dropped into negative territory over a rolling 12 month period, now being 2.1% lower than where it was 12 months ago. For regional Victoria, home price values also eased according to the data of a 1.3% drop, which is the second time this has occurred in the last 12 months. However, regional Victoria is still up 9.9% over the rolling 12 month period. Now looking at the rental market, rents for units and apartments in Melbourne increased by 7.5% for the month of August, which brings gross yields for investors to now be 3.9%. And mind you, this return is based on generally only a 20% cash investment, with the other 80% leveraged and that's the main advantage you get in real estate over most other asset classes. Now the trend for higher density living is revived with units and apartments coming back into favour over houses, which is a reverse of the COVID trend where people escaped to larger properties whilst we were in lockdown. Now the signs of the rental market are pointing towards a further rental price increase and increases in yields for investors for the remainder of this year and into early 2023. And that's all for this month. I'm Anthony Molinaro. And I'm Timothy Jagger. And remember, the information provided is of a general nature, and you should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation, and other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Thank you for watching this month's Market Wrap, and until next month, it's bye, bye for now. now.